Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the farmer's market in Bahal, yeah? <laughs> and your name? No. <laughs> your name? Lisa. What is your name? Lisa. <laughs> My name is Lisa. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to go through the prices on the different vegetables. And your name? Isa. Isa? <laughs> My name is Isa. <laughs> and you? My name is Ronnie, sir. Ronnie. Ronnie. That's my name, Ronnie. Ronnie Lisa oh. Isa. So, and your name? My name is Bond. What? <laughs> Bond? Bond, Bond. James Bond? Uh, Mighty Bond. M Bond? Uh. Uh, my name is Bond. Uh -huh. Now, we couldn't get a female that knew the prices, so what we did, we got a biot. Instead. I'm um, biot? And no, voila. Voila. <laughs> Come, Polly Hold. Okay. So, what are the prices for the red onions? Red onion? Yeah, per kilo. Per kilo, uh, 65. 65 pesos per oh. kilo. Remember, 45 pesos is one dollar. And the garlic? 100. 100? That's a good price. And the yellow onions? 80. 80? And this? 50. 50. And the potatoes? 60. 60, 60 pesos for the potatoes? No, that's 60 pesos for the no, carrots no, and the potatoes 60 also, 60 also. No. and the cabbage 45 45 and the cucumbers squash Squash. this 30. whatever this is 30 30 and the tomatoes tomato has 25 pesos only. 25 that's a good price today and this peppers before 100 100 that's a really good price for peppers for fresh peppers and the calamante calamante yeah 50 50 pesos and let's go over here now this is called what is this called we call that opo 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 and pilana pilana uh 25 25 pesos and for the eggplant? Eggplant is 60. 60 pesos for the eggplant. And then we have over here, we have... Fresh Mickey. What? Fresh Mickey. Fresh Mickey. It's noodles. Oh, noodles. Noodles. Yeah. And these are, this is a beet? A turnip. Turnip. And pilana? 60. 60 pesos for the turnips. Mm -hmm. And then they also sell dried goods. What is this? This is like a, this is what? Sayuti. What? Sayuti. Sayuti? Yeah. Sa sayuti. And, and pilana? Uh, 15 only. 15, 15 pesos? pesos? Mm. It's cute. Now, let's see what else they sell. All the little doodads. You can buy coffee and sugars and um, tea, matches, toilet paper, and oil. And these are dried noodles, and these are 15 cents a pack, yeah? 15? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 15. I remember. But, and you? How much is the squapa lady? Ah, oh, that is priceless. Priceless. Oh. There you go. Good answer. Good answer. What are you doing? Are you minding your peas and carrots? No. Cues? And this lady? Give me a guapa. Give me a guapa. Come on. <laughs> there you go, Salamat. They also sell fresh eggs, and I'm going to tell you, a couple of people mentioned the eggs. Egg. The eggs are amazing. The yolks are like a dark yellow, and the eggs you can't even you can't even buy eggs like this in America because all the chickens are fed with GMO foods, and this is all non-GMO, all organic. And this is dried noodles. These are, this particular one is the good one. I like that one. Now, what else do we have? What is this? Mongo. What? Mongo. Mongo? Oh. What do you do with this? Rabbit? Uh, this is mongo. Mongo? You make soup. a soup? Yeah. Ah, okay. And let's see, what else do you have? You have, they have pretty much everything in these little shops. And this is typical. Give me a guapa. Come on, come on, Polly Hogue. Wait, there you go. There you go. And this is one of the shops I shop in uh, every two weeks when I come. And this, what is your name again? 
Ah, my name is Jerome. Jerome. My name is Jerome. Okay. Come here. Thank you very much, Jerome. Jerome's a good man. He always gives me when when uh, Lisa is not looking, he gives me thirty percent discount. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty percent. Yeah. And then he gets fifty pesos cash, and I get the thirty percent discount. Yeah, Lisa. It's okay. Yeah. Bye, Jerome. You have to find new trabajo. <laughs> new trabajo. Ba trabajo with Lisa. Voila. And this man is shopping for calamantes. These things, this is like a, they don't have lemons here, so, and they don't have limes, but this will taste similar to a lemon or a lime, and they stay fresh for about 10 days in the refrigerator if you put them in a bag. So, Jerome, once again, thank you. You're welcome, sir. I'm going to just go over to the fish market here, and I'll be back to shop in a few minutes. I have my bags. Always have my bags with me. Yeah? And this man, what is your name? Sandy. Huh? Sandy. Handy? Yes. Sandy. My name is Handy. Sandy. Uh, in Tagalog, Hingo. Hingo. That's my name in Tagalog. Uh. Hingo. No Bakakun. No Bakakun. Bakakun ko. Bakakun ko. I just said I was a liar. He said I was a liar. We're all in agreement. And then you go from the fresh fruit and vegetables to the fish. Now these are 100 pesos, 120 pesos, which is almost $3 per pound. Uh, these are probably about 200 pesos, which is about almost $4.75 a pound. And when you get to the bigger fish, the, some of the bigger fish are the same price as the smaller fish. What kind of fish is this? Milkfish. Milkfish. That's good. And your name? Gladi. What? Gladi. Gladi? My name is Gladi. Yeah, no bakakun. You are guapa? Let me give me a guapa. Come on, give me a guapa. Yeah, she's guapa. And these are another kind of fish. That, But milkfish, this stuff fried, when I, when I get... Uh, no, I need a stove to cook this with, but that is good fried. These are all good. All, all this fish was caught within the last 24 hours. This stuff could have been even caught last night. Actually, it, it was caught last night. You can see by the, the texture of the fish itself, if you know what you're looking for. Uh, I lived on the water most of my life. This stuff is fresh. Look at the eyes. The eyes are clear and bright. So this is the fish, and then here is clams, shrimp, and different types of seashells. This is shrimp, seaweed, different kind of seaweed, and yet another kind of seaweed. Three types of seaweeds. My buntag. My buntag, sir. Oh, my in it. You have a guapa? And you, guapo? Mm. Voila. <laughs> Voila! These are live crabs. These were definitely caught last night. I'm making a video for the people in America. Mm, America. America. And your name? Geneta. Geneta. Geneta Bellano. Geneta Bellano. My name is Geneta Bellano. Mm. My name is Geneta. Mm. Huh. Wait. Uh, no, no, no. Wait. And you? Your name? Indaya. Indaya? My name is Indaya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is your name? My name is Michael. Michael? Yes. Fazio. Look, on the back of my shirt. How old are you? 59. Mm. The same. The same. Mm. You look good. Guapa. You look Michael better than me, go. I'll tell you that. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, sweetheart. And oh, look at that, a babai, a lalaki. Yeah. So, th what kind of fish is this? You don't know? It's a big fish that's flayed. And you, do you do you know what kind of fish this is? No, sir. Nobody knows. What yeah. kind of? Nobody knows what this looks like. A trigger fish, yeah? Yeah. Yes or no? 
She doesn't know. I don't know. Looks like a Traeger fish. It's a Tagalog, sir. Talakito. Talakito. Yeah. Ah, well, in America, it would look like a Traeger fish. We have Is it not trigger? Trigger, trigger. Trigger. Trigger, like a Trigger fish, trigger. yeah. Mm -hmm. Shooter, trigger. Yes, trigger fish, yes. And Tagalog, yeah, what? Talakito. Okay, Salamat. And they have on this side over here um, is the pork and chicken. Now we'll go to the pork and chicken. There's, there's several fish stands here um, and several pork and chicken. Now where you hear chopping, that's usually where the pork and chicken is. And we're on our way there now. Well, that's fish. Ryan Buntag. Ryan Buntag. My Buntag, amigo. Mm. Ah, there's the pork. Now this, these pigs, uh, what's called lechon, these were walking around this morning. Bear in mind, that pig walked into the yard this morning. My Buntag. Fresh, yeah? Yes. Pilana. Huh? How much, Pilana? 190. 190 per kilo. Salamat. I'm making a video for the people in America to show them what the prices are in the Philippines based as opposed to so 190 pesos would be about four dollars and fifty cents a kilo which is about two dollars a pound for fresh pork good price yeah and this stuff is cleaned this is this is a sometimes you'll pay 200 pesos a kilo with without being clean these are 200 pesos for the pork chops 190 190 all right um thank you salama look at this we have toha guapa guapa and guapa yeah and guapo and your name voila and this is the, the chopping block that they use to chop everything up on. And then they have, now this is the pork. Now, if I had a, a range where I lived, I don't have a stove. I have no stove. I only have a rice cooker. But when I get a stove, you're the person I'm going to buy the pork from. Next, uh, maybe in a few weeks. Okay? Salamat. My buntag. My buntag What's your problem? Uh, no, I, I don't. I'm pretty much a vegetarian, actually. Sometimes I eat meat. If I if I decide to eat meat, I'll stop in. You know, you see me every week, yeah. Uh, where and do you live? I live in Mindanao. Ah, you live Zamboanga. Zamboanga. Yeah. Look. He's Dipulog. Ba, ba, I am Bakakun Ko. Silingan mo, silingan. Zamboanga also. Oh yeah. We are from, Pinyan. we are brothers in Mindanao, yeah? Pinyan. Pinyan. I'm from Pinyan. Oh. And your name? Your name is uh, Melvin. 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 My name is Melvin. <laughs> yeah. You know Bukakun? <laughs> and your name? JR. Uh, what? JR. That's my name, JR. Me Melvin JR. Melvin JR Wala Bukakun. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Salamat. Balak. My buntag. That's nice hair, buddy. Let me check out your hair. Give me a guapo. Give me a guapo. Give, give me a guapo. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I had, when I was your age, I had pink hair. Yeah. And we have more fruits and vegetables over here. Uh, we did, I didn't see a chicken stand. This must be this must be the chicken stand over there. I admit, it's probably just not open yet. My buntag. Okay, so that just about does it. We have one more lady that I shop with on a normal basis. My buntag. Buntag. 
So this is um, this is the Philippines, baby. More fun in the Philippines. She's very excited about this. She doesn't have much enthusiasm. Hello, amiga. Hello. How are you I'm today? Guapo. I may, but I am guapo Salma. This you are on. I have you on YouTube from last time. Yeah, on YouTube, baby. I will give you the name of the video later. Mayan buntag. Uh, what is what kind of fish is is this? this. Salmonite. What? Salmonite. Salmonite. And pila na? Four twenty. Four twenty. Two hundred twenty. Two twenty. Okay. I, these these fishes are dried fish, and you can fry these fish or boil them. Yeah, but fried is better. Right. Yes. Okay. I don't know the names of the fish. And I don't want to put these people are getting busy. My Buntag. And your name? Uh, Jason. What? Jason. Jason. My name is Jason. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> these are the different types of fish. Do they range? Excuse me. Do you come I am from yeah. I am from Zamboanga. Zamboanga. But Mindanao. Mindanao. Yeah. Am I from Bacano? I am Bacaco and Co. <laughs> I am Bacacun. Sabacano, ba? Sabacano. I, I, no cost. Dialect in Sambuanga. I, I have no idea. I have never been to Sambuanga. I am Bacacun Co. Bacacun, Bacacun Co. Ta. Oh, oh, Bacacun Co. Huh? Maringo ta. Maringo ka. Ah, oh, that's a nice shirt. My buntag. Now these fish range in prices from. 800 pesos per kilo, which is um, almost $20 a kilo, and which is about um, $10 a pound, down to uh, 100 pesos a kilo or a dollar a pound. Bear in mind that 45 pesos is $1, roughly. It's a little less, a little more, depending on the day, typically less. And these are all the different types of fish. 80 pesos, $2 a kilo, dollar a pound. 250 pesos, $1.25 a pound. 